Well, it seems that there's some controversy over uh, whether these will chart, whether these BMS will work at less than 40 volts. I never, uh, it never crossed my mind that you need to supply it with an with an external voltage because my I was actually checking 12s, the 34 or 39, so 40 volt pack. So I'm going to uh, re reconfigure this into 24 volts to see if it works. And you can see now it is working and balancing. It's not a bad balance. There's, it jumps around. It keeps transferring. But it, they're darn close. So this is the board I got. And uh, it's different than the, the one David Paz has. His runs at only 40 volts. So I'm going to reconfigure this. So I'll get back to you. Thanks. Okay, folks. I reconfigured this into 8S. Which is 24 volts or more or less. Less than 40 anyway. I, uh, you know, this is, this is my, my ground. My first lug. Ground for the whole system, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Now the red wire is the power wire for the final S series. So that's the 24 volt power supply, which is hooked into the power, the power in the plus side, right? Of course, the blue one. Unfortunately, they're all blue except the one. I didn't have any black wire, but it goes to my negative. So that's that's 24 volt. And as you can see, she balances 8S, 20, 26, 65, and that's because it's charged up. And that's this model here. So mine will run on less than 40 volts, and it does run on the the, the voltage of the final S series, which uh, now is hooked into 24 volts. I just thought I'd show that to you. Just, I was curious <laughs> why, it, why it wouldn't run. Now in mine here, it says somewhere, if I can get out of the light. This box here says zero to 32 volt input, I think it says. No, in 36 to 75 volt, but I'm only putting in 24, and it definitely is running. It's balancing at 24, balanced, it says already. So, so folks, short little video. Good luck with your experiments, and uh, if you need an external power supply for the other type, well, I guess you need one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.